Hey everyone, I'm RG Beamer, and welcome back to another great week, and we're going to make it a real good week. I just had a great weekend out at my brother's, and we had some fun, and now I'm back home, getting things back together. Hopefully you all had a great weekend as well. If you want to tell me what you did, drop it down in the comments, I'll be glad to talk to you and read them all. But aside from all the weekend and week and everything, um, i just seen, um, since I got home, on Steam, that Black Ops 6 is coming soon, and they're kind of going back to hopefully the old ways. And it's going to be set in the 90s style and round-based zombies and everything, so I myself am probably going to pre-order it, and I really hope I don't make myself look like an idiot by pre-ordering it because of all, all the recent Call of Duty's have gone. It's just kind of like doesn't give me much hope, but... Based off what they're talking about and things and that, I'm hoping for a real good game and a game that I can play in my free time and play for you guys. And the zombies is the one thing I'm looking forward to is round based. The Call of Duty Cold War, or I think whatever whatever that one was called, the zombies were great, but the physics in that game were just not up to par with how I liked them. But I don't know. It was a great game overall. Maybe the physics were good for you guys, but for me it just felt very weird for Modern Warfare 2019 going into that. But overall, great game. So I'm hoping, really hoping for Black Ops 6. It's gonna be really good. And you get all these cool things if you pre-order. So I'm gonna be looking into that and really excited for that. So look forward to some videos on that. And then same with Buckshot Roulette, definitely gonna be playing lots more of that because that was really fun to play and beat them again for the second time well first time on the youtube channel and i played by myself so i'm looking forward to that double or nothing because i think there's some more like kind of things you can unlock as you go so gonna be doing that this week and i've seen someone commented amnesia so could definitely get into the amnesia the bunker i've loved all the other amnesia games and could probably play some of the older ones later on for the channel because i think we did a machine for pigs and the other uh, whatever the one was, other one was called. Hold on. Let me pull up my Steam library. What was that one called again? Amnesia, some, some. Uh, what was it called? I know exactly. Once I see it, I'll feel like an idiot. Uh, Amnesia Rebirth. Yes, that one was really good. And really easy to play through. And like the puzzles weren't very, very hard. So, we'll see how the bunker is. I'm going to throw it up in the polls and get that out there and tons of other games. We're getting close to the end of Alone in the Dark and Evil Within. Who knows where we're at with that. The Cry of Fear, I know we're way, way... The game is very long. I remember playing it back in 2013. I don't know when exactly I played it, but I remember beating the game and it was very long and I forget everything about it because it's been so many years. But that one's a good one. And the Evil Within 2, that one's going to be played right after the Evil Within and get back into some Fallout and everything else. So, everything's looking really good and up on the hill, so I'm loving everything. So, yeah, that's about all the updates I have for today. Uh, you guys just keep being awesome, and I want to thank you every single time and every single day that you guys are here watching the videos, commenting, liking, any new subscribers, and anyone that's been subscribed pretty much this whole time. So I want to thank you all for everything, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. So on that note, hopefully we all have a great week, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed for more upcoming videos, and I will be seeing you in the next one.